Hi everyone, we are looking at Square, Square SQ, which is blocked now. They are doing a transition. We are going to look at entry, exit. This is a stock that I own in our family portfolio, by the way, for all disclosures. Now, all the ways before we start with the video and the analysis, I urge everybody to look at the fundamentals of companies, you know, start going on Yahoo Finance if you don't have a report. I have reports coming from Schwab and Fidelity, but if you don't have access to those reports, you can always, you know, browse even on Yahoo Finance. Okay, what's the balance sheet? Okay, they have $6.2 billion in cash. They have $5.3 billion in debt. Look at the return on equity, the return on the margins, look at the sales growth, the quarterly sales growth. All those stuff are very helpful. Also, there's I love this site, Seeking Alpha. You know, read the analysis. You know, is there a turn turnaround on Square? Uh, look at the Google. Every matrix that you can look. Then go to the charts because that gives you a feel. Okay, is there a new management in place? Is there a new plan in place? Okay, and then I go to the charts and I use our probability power indicator. Those are the tools that we use personally. They are very unique. They are patented. They help doing analysis. And by the way, if you are an influencer, we welcome influencers and people doing press predictions to use our tools, you know, with partners, with influencers. Also, um, it is very unique. You know, it's a 30-day risk-free trial, guys. You have nothing to lose, everything to get. So let's start the analysis. So like I said, this is number one, something that I own. If you play the replay here, on, on the, the tools and you go at the bottom of the blue box. This is usually where we look to buy for very high probability of success. I had an 83% chance of success at that moment, right? And also you can see that the new premium probability box rule of third was giving me a 500% return possible on Square at that point with an 83% chance of success. So this is where as a long-term investor, as a swing trader, someone that doesn't go in and out, in and out, this gives you a structure to stay unemotional. This is why we've created those tools. You know, this is the work of over 20 years, guys. You know, we have uh, uh, in the suite, we have the scanner here. We have your alert, net buyer, net sellers here, net pressure. We have trends. We have other indicators as well, part of the suite. And I wanted something that visually is, I know. Do I have a higher percentage of success of winning or losing and, and be patient instead of, in, out, in, out, in, out. And then the thing finally goes and you're not even in the position, you're not even in the asset and you're missing the entire asset. So here, this was a fantastic buy, uh, buy in October. We did buy some in our family portfolio. You can look at those portfolio, by the way, day trading zones and power indicator. We get together also on the Wealth Wednesday sessions. Those are live streams. And so now what's next for Square, obviously? Well, if you go back to the present price, right? We are at the 50-50 toss now. Look, we're kind of getting down, getting up, getting down, getting up, getting down, getting up. But if you look at the two year back period, I think this is setting up to get out of this range there. The, this 83 range, it's, it's about to get out and it's about to break up. Now, the only problem I have with this is see this structure line as broken in on the downside. So when it breaks in the downside, I'm okay. You got to be careful. And it's probably a retest of the next edge reference points on the tools, which is this 53, 54, which also coincide if you look to that shoulder. So you have a head, shoulder, 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 going back to the shoulder. Now we go for the double top and we go for the new high, which press target would be 97. Next reference point, 115. Last reference point of the probability indicator as of today is the 148. So 148, 117, and the edge calculator double top 98. Now, I repeat, ideally the best retracement area would be here, this uh, 54, 55. That gives you a higher shoulder, 53, 55 here. That gives you the shoulder on the structure here and the structure here to go back 
and make the ascent to the next reference point on the day trading zone. Plus, I, I, I like that because the institutional net, net buyers, major miners are on the upside. I just need this one on the long term to turn up or at least turn neutral with this one up or this one up and this one up to give me more confidence to add size. So let's say if we can get, you know, with people stressing about the economy and all that stuff, one more shot on the downside, because at the end of the day, Square, PayPal, all the stuff are consumer dependent and consumers is going to stop being tapped out here with credit cards and stuff like that, right? So you have to be careful of that. But I'm thinking now we get the structure to the 98 and the 118. Hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget, you have a 30 days, absolutely risk-free. Go on the Power Indicators website and try our entire suite. It's very affordable and it's very powerful to help you without false promises. You take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next stock prediction and analysis video.